Hello, I'm Simon. Welcome to my workshop. In this video, I'm going to be utilising some dead space on my workbench to store my track saw and accessories. Let's get tinkering. Space is at a premium in my workshop and my track saw and accessories currently live on the floor in one corner or another. So I really want to find somewhere permanent for them to live. So this accessory bag holds a spare track and the clamps and tools for my track saw. It's quite a nice sturdy bag so I'm probably going to keep the things in the bag and it's about the same width as my workbench. I'm thinking that I can put the bag here like this and it'll just need a couple of brackets to hold it in place so that it doesn't fall off when I'm moving the bench around. I've spotted some dead space at the end of my workbench that I think I can utilise. Keeping my track saw with the workbench is a great idea as I only ever use it on the workbench. So the design is going to be based on the scraps I've got available. And I've got this nice piece of 18mm ply, which I think would be ideal if I just screw it here like that, so that I've got a lip for the bag to sit on. I'll then need to create some sort of catch here so that the bag doesn't fall out of the lip. And I think that is probably as simple as it needs to be. I cut the ply to length, keeping the offcut for later. Using the fence on my bench drill table, I pilot some holes for the screws. I then countersink the holes ready for the screw heads and clamp the part to my bench so that I can use these holes to ensure I get the pilot holes for the screws in the right place. The leftover piece of wood I cut in half. These pieces will form the latch mechanism. One will become the toggle so I trim the corners on it. and then shape it on the belt sander. Then pilot a hole in the toggle and using some masking tape to make sure the toggle lines up with the mounting points I pilot a hole in the mount. Now I can tidy up the cuts from the bandsaw and add a little chamfer to the edges. I'm taking a bit of a risk fixing this edge on but I figured that by piloting the holes everything will be okay. This won't be the case. So having countersunk the holes I secure the mounting point for the toggle to the bench and as you've probably realised already it cracks. So I tighten the screw a little more to open up the crack and squeeze some glue in using my finger then back out the screw before clamping it up. This part is not subject to much force so I think it will be okay. With the glue dry I can now add the toggle. I originally fitted it so that the toggle was free to spin but found that it worked better if there was a little friction between the toggle and its bracket. I now need to build a shelf for the track saw to sit on. This needs to be 200mm deep, so I dimension some second hand pine shelving using the track saw. I can now mark up whereabouts the shelf needs to go. To fit the shelf I need to make some brackets. I cut these out on the bandsaw so that I can incorporate a curve on the front of the bracket. I make two of these.
and chamfer the corners using a sanding stick. I can now screw the brackets to the frame of the workbench. After a couple of test runs, I decide I need a lip on the edges of the shelf to stop the saw moving about. So I cut these out of 9mm ply on the bandsaw, then glue them to the edges of the brackets. and add a few brad nails for good luck. Well I hope this video has given you some ideas on how to use any dead space you have in your workshop. If you've enjoyed this video please leave a thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe. Any questions or comments leave them below and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. If you like this video why not subscribe by clicking my logo. It's free and YouTube will add some of my videos to your feed. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.